Now, before I put this all the way back together, I did want to explain something. This is your automatic choke thermostat. See in here, it kind of looks like the inside of a car thermostat. It's got a little spring in there, and when that heats up, it moves this little lever just like that. So to explain how these work, this goes on to the carburetor just like this. You can see where the holes line up. And then as this heats up in here, it presses that forward just like that. And you can see it opens up the choke. The whole reason behind that is when you shut your mower off and it's all warmed up, you don't need to choke it again. Or at least you wouldn't need to if it was manual. So that's what this is doing for you. It's automatically setting itself where it needs to be so you can restart your mower when everything's all warm. Very simple, but sometimes these thermostats can fail. I've seen it happen on Briggs and Stratton's. It's a little bit less common on Hondas, but it can still happen. So if you're having an issue where your mower is not wanting to start, this is something that should be easy enough to change for you if you determine that that's what it is.